Greetings, my personal person, um, on today here in the Love Pad, we'll be talking about how to grow spiritually. So I'll be sharing this ways on how you can grow spiritually, and I'm going to share how I am growing spiritually. As much as I am a pastor, I'm still growing, I'm still learning, I'm still growing, you know, that stuff. So if this is your first time being around, welcome to our family. If this is not your first time, welcome and welcome my family. So, um, the first thing that I want to advise you on is to connect to a grace-based church. And, and what that is, is a, a church where they centered on the new covenant of grace. Now, when I say that, don't think that it's a place where they allow sin and they say people should live anyhow. No, but it's a church where they are centered on the finished work of Christ Jesus. What Jesus has done, what he has made available in the church what he wants us to be in that is the covenant that he has taken us to be in because jesus has done everything that needs to be done he, he did everything that has to be done so now he wants us to be in the new covenant and we have to acknowledge what he has done we have to acknowledge his strength and everything so connect yourself into a, a grace-based church not a place where they make you feel like every day you become worse and I also want to say this, honey, that we, now that we are born again, we should be focusing on um, behaving right. And But it's not about you getting your ex right, mostly more than getting to know God. You can't change when you don't know God. You cannot become a changed person when you don't even understand the love of God. So a grace-based church will be able to teach you a lot of things. You will learn so much that will help you to grow easy in Christ, okay? So another thing that will be to study the Bible. And when I say study the Bible, I'm not just talking about you just um, reading. Because uh, reading and studying, it's kind of not really the same. Because when we say study, study has to do with a pen and a, and a paper uh, or a book and then your book. You have to take down the important keys. But when we talk about the Bible, my, my love, um, you are not the one that is going to analyze the scripture yourself. You're going to need to have your Bible. That's what you're going to need. If it's a Bible study, you need the Bible. You need your pen, your paper, because there are many things that God is going to pour in that study room that you're going to need to have. You're going to need to write down. And if you have questions, you write them down in and, and if now that you are talking to me, because this is so, also showing me that you want to grow, you came on, on, on Spotify, you find in my channel, now you listen to what I'm saying, because you want to grow spiritually. So if you have questions that is related to this conversation that we're having on how to grow spiritually, you can reach out, you can talk to me, uh, you can comment, you can um, send out your question, and I will be so glad to respond to you. So another thing would be to pray. Now, when you when you start your Bible study, it's important to have your Bible and it's important to have your pen and a paper and it's important to pray. When we say pray, this is not just a past time. There's something about prayer. And I'm going to continue teaching about prayer as much as I can because I've seen so much grace of God when I pray in my life and there is something about when you pray because God said we should pray. Jesus said that men ought to pray and not to faint. So now, now that we're sharing this conversation, uh, you will have to pray and say, God, help me to understand your word. I pray that my mind will open up, my heart open up for your word, for your revelation that I'm able to perceive, I'm able to receive, and I'm able to get your word. The word of God says, ask it shall be given, the seek it shall find. When you pray, God will respond and he will be giving you the meaning of the word. So why I have to say this is because sometimes when we say, now reflect. Some people always think that is about you trying to analyze the scripture. Or when we read the word, uh, now that you have read the Bible, have studied it and everything, you think that now I have to figure the meaning of the Bible. My love, the Bible is... um. A spiritual book and you and I are a spiritual being so for us to understand the word yes much as we are spirit beings it's important to let the one that is greater than the two of us to be the one that explains what he means with his word 
So when we allow him to come into our Bible study session, he will bring the true meaning of the Bible. We are not the one trying to bring the meaning of the Bible. God is the one that is going to help us to understand what he says. So things will be much easier when we start doing studying and everything. And some people, when they start studying the Bible, they talk about their text. They feel, they all of a sudden feel like you want to sleep. All of a sudden you feel like you headache and everything. Watch it. Those are the attacks the enemy fights you from reading the Bible. You know, what I noticed, I don't know about you, but you can be praying, you can be worshiping and, and, and stuff mostly, but there's something about reading the Bible. The devil hates it. He hates it to have you reading the Bible because if you will read the Bible, you will know most of the grounds that you have, things that you need to understand even when you're going to be praying and stepping into a spiritual warfare prayer. The things that you're going to learn in your Bible study sessions, you're going to use them when you are praying for your life, when you're praying for your family, when you're praying for things, and when you're praying for your church. Whatever it is that God will be leading you to pray for. The things that you're going to be using because of what God has revealed to you. So he doesn't want you to have all that meaning, all the understanding. He doesn't want you to grow. If you don't read much of the word, you don't grow in spirit. You're just stuck. Yes, you go into church. But you are not growing. There's something about the Bible, the Word of God and, and all that. It's not the same as if like on earth this year, since I am 29 years old, then next year automatically I'm, I am growing. I'm 30. In, in the spirit, you can be stuck. You can see this. You know that this person used to be on fire for God, but all of a sudden they're cold. And now there seems to be no growth. You cannot say because they have been born again five years or ten years ago, then that means they are growing. No, they're not. So if you are taking time out and spending it with God, studying the word, praying and getting much revelation, continue to be humble because the more humble you are, the more God, the more God is going to pour on your heart. And I've seen much and I've seen God pouring so much on me based on the time that I was much more humble and I tried. I tried being proudful and I boasted. And then God stopped pouring on me and I, and I knew what was my problem. So I just repented and God helped me to stepping back into the into the humbleness and then is able to pour so that I'm able to function. You see, when I was young, I used to do that in the in the in, in the Christian kingdom mostly. I, I I would move I would move in in, in humbleness, and then I see so much pouring of coming from God to my to me, and then I start moving in pride. So I don't want you to do that. Keep humbling yourself. Now I pray to God to help me to do that to be humble, because you know pride is not something that attacks you when you are young only in the spirit. It also comes to people who are matured in the faith. That's why we have to constantly fight against it. So the more you do that, the more you become more, you're growing, you're growing. And don't worry uh, about people who are trying to fight your growth because not everybody's going to be happy that you're growing. That's why your relationship with God should be centered on God. And you're not supposed to be expecting hands all the time because as you are studying out on your Bible study and then you are going and you are growing on your spiritual growth journey this indeed you will start seeing things you'll see things your eyes will open you will see things in the daylight whenever but you will be your eyes will be open so much that you'll be able to see in the spirit because you're spending time with god and so you're not just reading the word but you're getting to know god as you are reading the bible and your focus i don't want it to be just about the scripture scripture you are getting to know the god of the bible you are getting so close you are sp spending time excuse me, you're spending time with God, you are talking to him in your study Bible and your heart should be glued on him. As you read the word, think about him, think about God, think about God. When you focus on him and you allow the thought of God being so important to you, God keeps on pouring because your intentions are pure and your heart is resting on him. So this is what I can share with you for now. And if you have any questions, you may reach out to me, comment them, uh, visit my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel. I have shared so much uh, on TikTok. I think I've, yeah, I've shared my testimony on TikTok and it's also available on YouTube where I talk mainly about my life before Jesus Christ, how God liberated me from the powers of darkness and how I was saved because I was 
experiencing so much attacks. I was not able to sleep at night. And I was young from the age of eight. I was so much afraid of going to bed because knowing of what, what was going to happen to me, I would feel hands strangling my neck and I couldn't sleep at peace. And But I would just go early at bed, I think around 8, but I would sleep around 3 a.m. And I had to wake up at 5, I think 3 a.m. If, if I'm not mistaken. And so I didn't have a good night's sleep. And just do, during, throughout the day, it's like I am not at rest. So I am not bringing out my best potential. So that's why now I'm sharing spiritual growth te uh, teachings and spiritual warfare. If you can check my channel, you see that it was mostly about relationship, but then I started sharing out growth messages because I just, in my heart, I'm touched. I believe God wants to set his people free from what the things that the devil usually do. So God had led me to have um, a meaning and he helped me to discover a way of being delivered and free and really have the peace and being able to sleep at night. And so I wrote a book titled Christ in You, The Hope of Glory, How Jesus Liberated Me from the Power of the Enemy. So I have that book. It's available on Amazon. Do go and, go and check it out. It will help you mostly on your spiritual growth because as you read the Bible, I have shared about faith, believe the love of God. And, and, and I, as you read, because there's something about about what God does because he wanted me to write that book. It is a message for somebody. You were going to find a way. And when you have it with you, you are able to think more, more, more about what you have discovered in the book. And then you will be able to put it in your life. And I use that even in my life today. And it works. It works because it, the revelations are coming from God. So I'm happy to have you here. And um, I'll be also putting out Bible studies Um Bible study uh, journals available in Amazon to help you on your spiritual journey. Right now, I do have some uh, books on Amazon right now, but those, those are line journals, but they're beautiful. But in case you want to have your own book where you'll be practicing, you'll be busy doing your Bible study, and that is one, that one journal that you're going to need for your Bible study to just have all your stuff organized, do reach out on my uh, Amazon and check my books. So you can just type Viera Ladi and Gongwane and all my stuff will appear there. So get your copy and have your Bible study times. And if you do have questions, please reach out to me uh, and we can talk about that. So God bless you. God keep you. May he shine his face upon you. I love you. God bless you. Bye.